Light baking involves pre-calculating lighting information and sorting it in textures, which is called light maps. Many pre-made Unreal Engine maps come with uh, lights already baked in. This process allows Unreal Engine to render complex lighting scenarios with minimal performance impact. But what if we want to convert baked lighting into dynamic lighting to enhance our level's look? That's exactly what we will achieve in this tutorial. Let's get started. Now, first things first, we do light baking for several reasons. The first one, which is probably the most important one, is performance. Baking lights reduces the real-time computation required during gameplay, leading to smoother performance and higher frame rate. The other reason might be visual quality. Bake lights can achieve more realistic effects, including intricate shadows and global illumination, enhancing the overall visual appeal of the scene. Imagine you have an interior level open in your editor and the client wants to change the mood or feel for the lighting. In this situation, you need to disable your bake lighting and start lighting the scene dynamically. Let's see how we can achieve that. The first question you will ask yourself is, how do I know that I have baked lighting in my level? Right? So that's a fair question. Well, one easy way to find out is to navigate to your directional light and try to turn it on and off. You can see as I'm turning this on and off, there is absolutely no impact on this level. Well, the reason is those lights have already been baked. Once you identify that you need to convert your static bake lights into dynamic, the workaround is fairly straightforward. You make sure that your world settings window is open. You can go into windows, world settings, mine is already open. And there's a section on light mass that you need to tweak. So light mass is the system in Unreal Engine that bakes indirect lighting, shadows and global illuminations into light maps. And the light mass information resides in the world settings. The first rollout light mass settings deals with how many number of bounces, uh, what sort of volume lighting method you would like to use, so on and so forth. But in advance, if I expand that, we have one option called force no pre-computed lighting. That's what we want to enable. That disables all forms of pre-computed lighting in your project. Once you click that, it says, are you sure you would want me to put this into practice? Because that is going to um, disable your light mass bake and that is going to enable your dynamic lighting. It also is going to disable your light map. So all pre-computed lighting typically involved generating light maps as textures, they will be all removed. I say I'm fine with this, click that. Now, you don't see any change. If I go in there, you're still not going to see any change. I need to go into build, and build lights only. Now I'm seeing a scene without any baked lights. You may have noticed that all the global illumination and indirect lighting are gone. And that's a very sort of important takeaway when you deal with light baking. Now if I go into directional light and turn it on and off, you can see I can now dynamically change that. You can see I'm seeing preview here and here and here. That is no big deal. I mean, Unreal is trying to tell you that you need to bake lights. If you really would like to retrieve the information, you can easily go into show and go into visualizer and in preview shadow indicator, 
turn that off. If you have game view on and you would like to disable game view and jump out of it, then you need to do the pretty much the same thing. Go into visualize and turn off preview shadow indicator. Also, there is a console command for this. So if I go preview in here, we have show flag preview shadow indicator and that specifically is going to target that preview that comes up as a quote unquote watermark on your level. You can set that to zero and press enter and you don't need to go into visualize every single time. It will disable it permanently. Now, the important bit is if you close the scene right now and reopen it, you will see the baked information popping up again unless you save your build data. So I'm going to go in there and go save all. And now Unreal Engine saved on your build data level and you can be 100% certain that when you open it next time, there's not going to be any surprises. I'm going to go into my detail and let's say I'm going to change the direction of the light ever so slightly. And that is what I would like to bake now. The big question is, how will I be able to bake it? That's actually fairly straightforward. You go into build and you go into GPU light mass. We have CPU light baking and we have GPU light baking. I'm a huge fan of this GPU light mass, which is, by the way, a plugin. So if I go and type in light mass, GPU light mass comes up. Now, you need to make sure that few bits and pieces are in place when you deal with GPU light mass. I'm going to go into edit and project settings. And the first thing that you want to make sure it's on is ray tracing. So I'm going to type in support hardware ray tracing. Make sure this is on. The second one you need to double check and make sure it's enabled is enable virtual texture support. And the third one is enable virtual texture light maps. I've got all three enabled. So I know that once I start building lights, everything will come to play beautifully. So let's have a look at some of these options. I'm not going to go through one by one, but there are some important ones you kind of need to be mindful of. The first one is mode. When it's set to full bake, this mode renders a full light map resolution for every object in your level. So uh, you may have a double story house, an interior, and you would like to bake light on everything. The other option that we have is bake what you see. And as the name suggests, this mode renders only the virtual texture tiles for objects in the view. So if you feel like this is all you have, you're probably going to zoom in and pan a little bit and you're not going to explore in other levels, then you can perhaps uh, use that option instead. The next one that you need to know about is Denoiser. Intel Open Image Denoiser is the default option and it is in charge of the overall noise in the render output and tries to reduce it. Now, if you're getting fireflies in your scene, the other option would be simple firefly remover. And it's an alternative denoiser that specifically targets firefly artifacts in your level. So if you get too many of those, switch to that one instead. Then we have GI global illumination samples. I tend to leave that to 2048. And the other option by default is off this use first bounce ray guiding. And just to put it in simpler term and not to get into the technicality side of things, if I have an interior scene, I tend to enable it for exterior scenes. I disable it. 
And last but not least, I have quality in here, which is the number of samples that you have. And of course, the higher quality gives you a better result. This goes hand in hand with GI samples. So whatever number I put here, I tend to put half of it in there. So 1024 or 512 would be a good number. Now, this process takes a lot of time and one trick you can use to speed up your light baking process is to turn off real time. On the top left of the screen, I have this menu here. I can click on it and just turn off real time. And that is going to speed up your light baking. I'm going to press OK and it goes through the process of building lights and then denoising the textures. And believe it or not, that's all there is to it. That's all you need to know. And here's the result. You can see light baking works beautifully. The global illumination is there. All the indirect lights are working perfectly. And I turned my bake lights into dynamic to make certain adjustments for the client. And now I'm rebuilding the lights and here's the result. That should do it for this tutorial. I hope you found this uh, technique useful and use that in your own projects. As usual, thank you very much for your support. You can follow me on Instagram, Reddit and X. Have a great rest of your day. See you guys later.